Hey, what's up guys? We're back on ARC. This is day 8 slash 7. Um, so we recorded the whole episode of 7 and then we found out that it got messed up. So um, we're going to be recapping some of the stuff we had to do and got done. Um, we got a lot done, unfortunately. Um, so I used Streamlabs to record and it decided to reset all my stuff for some reason and my bitrate was what the issue was. So I got that fixed up, so hopefully it looks a lot better. Um, that video was just too bad. I could barely make out what I was even doing. So um, first off, we got a Quetzal. Uh, it took us quite a while to find him. And we got a lot of this platform building done. Um, we named him and got him a nice color. We'll check out him a little bit. I think he was 130 maybe when we got him. And we leveled him up quite a, quite a bit. Um, so what I did is I took these S+. Plus. These are glass ceilings, and I turned off um, all the sides, and then I put the transparency to 0.7. So they have a little bit of a, a hue to them, and uh, you can still see through, but you can't see, it's not completely transparent. And then this is an extended platform from S+, Plus, I think, which goes on top of the regular platform, which helps you to build and gives you a little bit more stab uh, stability. We got lots of metal fences everywhere so you don't fall off, and just for a little bit of a look. And then we got the dino station here. Uh, we got some farm plots that we got. We're going to get irrigated soon. Uh, we got the upgrade station. This one looks a little bit different, but it's pretty much the same thing. Um, it costs a lot more, unfortunately. I thought it was going to be a little bit cooler. But we also got an augment station, which is part of the mod. And you can augment your gear with different kinds of things, such as like heat protection, cold protection. Um, what's this one? Increases weapon damage. So a lot, a lot of cool little things. Um, we got some huge, I don't like how big these are, but not much you can really do. Um, huge storage boxes, and they make a lot of noise. Um, we got all stuff organized, a couple of regular boxes. We got our advanced fabricator, which is nice because it's a lot smaller. Unfortunately, it still makes a lot of noise, though. Um, we got a couple more things to put in here, but we still have to transfer all that. We got our grill and kibble station. This station is for the S Plus stuff. Uh-oh. Did I not get in there? Oh, unlocked. There we go. Why is it locked? Okay, that's weird. Um, and this is the S plus converter, which actually we may have to move. So if you make something that's not S plus, you put it in there. Yeah, okay. So that's why, because this was inside of it. All right, we'll put this. Uh, we'll put this somewhere else. No problem. Plenty of room. Um, I would like to keep most of the crafting stuff right here. Maybe I'll put it right here. Um, but trying to build on Quetzal or any kind of moving creature is such a pain. Uh, it took me quite a while just to get a couple things placed down. Uh, that one's a little bit crooked. That's as good as things can get. Um, especially these chests and stuff. These are nice because they stack and they go next to each other. Um, but I originally had, I think, six of them or nine of them. Uh, I think it was a two by three, actually. And just trying to get the one lined up and then putting the ones on top was such a pain. Um, we got these little hatch drop downs. I don't know why they open up vertical sometimes. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, I'm going to put turrets here or I think I might do some plant, uh, plant X's. I think plant species X or something they're called. Uh, to help protect the Quetzal in case anything goes after him. Um, we got a generator back here. There's two more turret platforms. Um, so not too much going on. We got more storage. I think this is skins, yeah, and with a bed. Not too much going on yet. Um, most of the time was just getting this glass set up. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. And up front we have like a little bit of a curve. Um, and you can only build out so far, so I wanted to make sure I can build up to the railing. So um, we got that all sorted out. Um, I'm going to put a water tank thing here for the crops. And um, I might do something over here. I'm not sure yet. Maybe some kind of decor or something. Um, so we come over here. Oh, we also want to get these trophies uh, laid out. So maybe we'll do that. Um, we did a lot of farming. Um, as much metal as we could find. So we, we took that up because we want to build a advanced forge. Oops. Which costs 5,000 metal, so that's going to take a while. Once this gun is done cooking up, we can make that. Then we just have to transfer that and everything in here, and then we should be good. Everything else is pretty much cleared out. Uh, this is just recipes that we don't really need. Um, other than that, we managed to go to the ocean. 
And we got a Megalodon. I think he was maybe 130. Actually, it's a female. Might still have it. Yep. Uh, 130. Upgraded him to 245. We were able to kill a... I think it was only like level 10 and 20, but it was an Alpha Megalodon just hanging out with this guy. So we uh, tamed him up, killed the Alpha, and then went just on a spree. Killed a bunch of stuff. We got a lot of pearls, and we got um, a lot of uh, chitin and some stuff from like the mantas and we had a lot more pearls but we had to upgrade the saddle for the quetzal so we pretty much maxed him out it took quite a few pearls um after i had to go farming for i don't know probably at least an hour or two to get that up to 50.6 um so if anything happens he isn't going to be dying so hopefully that is good enough um also we farmed the metal it's for the metal for the uh forge and all those silica pearls we got um oh we were able to kill a couple jellyfish so we got some of the toxins i put it over here in the bin oh uh, where is it there it is not too much um i was gonna make some stuff with it but I, I wasn't sure if i wanted to yeah i didn't think it was really worth it um oh, actually let's make sure he is on passive because he likes to okay good he likes to pull you around sometimes when he's on your shoulder i don't know why um, but yeah, we got pearls, we killed a cute few jellyfish, a lot of mantas, we killed a, the leech, the lead thing, and the big, uh, creature in the water. Um, I think, what else did we do? We got the quets, that was, took quite a while. Uh, we made a shotgun, pop shotgun, we decked it out. Some gold and some black. And then, uh, we also got a new mod. It's called the Dino Colorizer. So basically, it's a little spray gun. And you can come up to the dinos. Um, let's show. We do this one. And you can spray your dinos different colors. So they have all the regions. And you go through them. And you can. Here's a slider. So you can use a slider to change the colors. And you can mix and match. So if you want to get, you know, like white, do that. Bright white, very bright. Um, and then you can also save and load your presets, which is nice. So if you want to put it across multiple. Uh, where is white rex put across multiple creatures uh so this one and her daughter over there have the same colors and also they have a selectors so you don't have to use the sliders uh, most of the normal colors are up here and then if you scroll down there's more um realistic looking colors nothing super bright more arc colors and then they have all the regions for the creatures from the base game so and you could also hit default if you want to ever switch them back and most of them seem to stay if you put them away in a uh, in an orb, in a Pokeball thing. And if you put them in a shoulder, they all seem to stay. So Randy, we pretty much blacked him out. And then we accented him with these blue and really highlighted those. And then um, the Quetzal, we did mostly black and red. Looks pretty cool. Um, and then over here on Guac, we made him a little bit greener. Oh, this stupid airdrop is going to throw it off. Get rid of all, all this crap. What's this guy doing over here? 135. Nice light white. Um, so we highlighted his green a little bit more. And then we also gave him this really cool looking purple uh, mohawk looking thing. I don't know. It looks, looks really cool. Nice color. Kind of looks like a crystal or something. So uh, other than that, we got a lot done. We got most of the building... Oh, that's a rock. I thought it was poop. Most of the buildings um, completed cleared out most of this and we also got a new spot that we um, could probably take oh, actually no we'll leave leave Harry here but I think we're gonna put him on a roof uh -oh. what's weighing him down so much oh you know what maybe it's um all the stuff on him that would kind of suck I'm not sure well, I can't even land okay well, we'll figure that out eventually, but we got um, a new building spot, so we're basically going to have like a little hangout area for a couple dinos and for, what's his name? Harry, I think. Uh, I pick a bunch of random names, um, so we can go check out that real quick. We actually have a teleporter there, so we'll uh, head to the teleporter. And we got an irrigation system set up that we had to, uh, it's on a mountain, so we had to go all the way down to the beach. Check all that out real quick. 
Okay, we'll get a shot. All right, over here. So this is towards like the southwest. Uh, these islands over here on this uh, big mountain. Let's get Randy out. We can survey things a little bit better. So we put a uh, fence line along the edge here. I wish it connected a little bit better and would even out, but we could always fix that. Um, we threw some foundations down so we could put put Mr. Harry chilling right here. Um, and then we got a irrigation system set up with some water right here and a tank which runs all the way down basically to the water and i'll show you that real quick it took quite a while to get this thing set up because it's all in the air basically it comes all the way down here we built this little hut little uh, protection hut so nothing attacks it come in here and here's the intake and then there's roofs and we made a, a little window which actually happens to fit just perfectly for this pipe to stick out so it looks kind of immersive pops right out the window and down into the water um we also have a raft somewhere i think the raft's all the way over here though we have a teleporter for it too we used uh, the raft and then we got a megalodon we got to kill the alpha megalodon and then we went farming for a while and killing with the I don't think we named the Megalodon yet. We'll have to think of something for that. What do we got over here? And we also got attacked by one of those uh, big uh, lead things of the water. Uh, we were driving and uh, we attacked the boat and it scared the shit out of me. I saw him creeping around. Next thing you know, the boat started getting smacked and rocking around. Oh, yep, there we go. There it is. Can we make it? Can we make it? Oh, almost. Yep, there's a little raft here. We got a uh, teleporter on there. Not too much creatures over here in the water at the moment. Yeah, not too much going on. These are nice little islands. These always be nice if you wanted to, uh, like, take over an island for, like, a uh, like walled off and let your dinos out and stuff. That would be really cool. But kind of want to do a little bit of a, uh, a higher up thing. Oh, there's some more metal right here. I should probably grab this. I wonder if I still have my Anklia. Oops. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Boners. Come on, buddy. So yeah, basically we took this guy around. He's probably got like 20 levels total from us. Uh, taking him around and getting a uh, metal on him. Come on, stop eating. Yeah, you get like a, almost a thousand metal per hit with this guy. It's nice. Um, and I think he also reduces the metal quite a bit. So that's uh, definitely a nice feature because this stuff, yeah, hit it a couple times and then you gotta go back and forth. Come on, dude, move. Um, is that one right there? I don't know if that's a broken piece or not. Oh, there we go, nice. Oh, I think that's pretty much it. I only saw a few right here. There's more on that island. You could probably grab this guy up. Randy. Ooh, a lot of crystals down there, too. Yeah, right, so we threw him down and he's already getting to work. We didn't even have to get on him yet. We have all these medals. Oh. Sometimes you miss a little bit, but that's all right. But yeah, I'm a little bit uh, disappointed that I made the whole video and then I go to edit it and realize it was nothing good. Um, but we got that all fixed up. Um, I messed with the settings for a while and I realized it was because of the bit rate. Um, I don't know why, but one day I turned on my computer and my uh, Streamlabs asked me to sign in again. I was like, okay, whatever. Didn't think much of it. And then the first time I figured out that it was an issue. And then after I figured out an issue, I thought I fixed it and it wasn't fixed. It was the bit rate. So we got that turned, we get cranked it up at 60k. So should I have no issues now? All right, we got all this stuff done. I think we will, um, let's head back to shop and we'll uh, cook up all this, this metal. We take out our little uh, teleportation device and we'll go home hop on randy all right so we can throw all this metal right into the furnace give him another level into speed Ooh, too much Just crank out as much metal as we can get. It's 3,000. I think we have maybe 12. Oh, 
we have just enough. Nice. All right, what else do we need? Um, once we get this forge going, that metal will zoom 800. We have plenty of oil. We got so much from the ocean. Um, crystal and cement paste. I should have enough crystal. Yep. And cementing paste. Oh, polymer. Okay. I don't know if I have 800 polymer. We'll check. I know I was cooking up a bunch. And it's all in the pterodon. We're all in the quetzal. Shit. Alright, we'll put this all, um, I guess, in here. I wonder if I can reach that. No. Yeah, we'll just throw it back in here then. Should be. I'll put the metal in there and it should be enough. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up there to him. If we just jump up there with Randy, that would be the easiest way. Then we could also keep him in the air. Oh, buddy. Uh oh. I'm going to throw him. There we go. So glad this uh, ability doesn't damage. Oh, come on, dude. You threw me off. It doesn't damage any platforms or anything. That might be square that. Come on, Randy, you crazy fuck. Alright, don't throw me off again, you fucker. Alright, where is the fabricator? Um, we have just shy of 800, which is quite a lot, actually. Uh, oh, we can just turn this on and we'll make, make some more. Let this cook up, and that's plenty. Alright, finish that. Yeah, see, that thing's very loud. Um, so, I don't know. There's not really too much I can do about it. That's a, a modded one, so... Plus the mod author updates it and changes it, not much I can do. Um, make this advanced forge. Nice. And this thing threads through the metal like nothing. So actually, why don't we... Um, I'm not going to take all this metal at once. Uh, but I do have an idea. We'll put you down there. Uh, and we'll get this guy. Pick you up you in here and we'll take all your stone out in this flint and we can get all the metal out of here and just put it right into him you look at that like it's nothing all right but where am i putting this oh this one i think is going right back in there yeah, I'm still in the forge. There we go. I was like, what the hell? Nice. Alright, so then, he only weighs 200 pounds, so we can just pick him up. And we'll put him right up there on the, uh... With Randy, we'll jump right up there. Um, I also turned up my gamma a little bit, I think, to gamma 3 or something. So, that should help everybody be able to see. Um... We'll throw him right there. Oop, I'm stuck. Nice tail. Alright, Randy, I'll pick you up so you're not in the way. I'm gonna put this little forge down. It cannot be placed on a platform. What? Oh shit. Okay, well, we might have to figure this out then. I wonder if I can place a foundation and then put that down. Um, let's put Randy over here, and you need to get out of the way, Mr. Boners. Uh, let's see, uh, there should be some things in here. I think that will destroy if I put it right there. Okay, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, no, it still doesn't do anything, though. All right. Uh, I don't want to pick up that one. I want to pick up the wood. Um, not the real one. Foundation. Uh, pick up foundation. Right? Huh, we're gonna have to uh, figure that part out, and maybe we can do something about the fabricator too. All right, guys, we're back, and we're sporting the new do. We got a mohawk, and uh, I think it's a Viking beard. Um, we got Mr. or Mrs. Uh, Scarlet over here peeking through. Let me move this guy out of the way a little bit. Uh, we figured out a couple things, not everything, but we got almost everything figured out. First off, the Quetzal can move, so we got a uh, mod that adds these little uh, weight um, increased items, I guess you could say. So it helps with, um, I don't know why it's 
it was just something else a second ago. Anyways, I uh, basically put those in there and it minuses weight off of um, whatever you have it in. And if it's a dino, a container, or a person, I just have to make sure there isn't a negative amount or then the dino won't be able to move. Um, so what we did is we took the Quetzal and we flew him right over here. Right up against the back of the house and then we just hit X to air brake. And then we were able to take everything out of the smithy, put it in the Anklio, and then we got out, out of the way, and then we were going to put it all back in the smithy. So we moved the smithy, um, we got a couple things set up over here, we get stuck, of course. Whoa, he's pooping. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, so we got the smithy set up, we can move all this stuff over. I should have just jumped on him in the beginning. There we go. Um... Now we also got a, a storage stacking mod. I don't know if they have any other skins. But they have um, different, they have wooden ones and they have metal ones. I don't know why these ones are so bright. That's all right. Um, so that's just these little uh, storage boxes. And you can basically just stack them on top of each other. They have different ones. They have this big, huge one that is just a pain in the ass. Um, these ones are nice and they have wood ones and metal ones. So we got these uh, sorted out, stacked up. We have a uh, regular forge here for smelting like uh, scrap metal. We got our fabricator. We had to use um, the old forge. Unfortunately, the other one I just can't get to work. Um, this one's the advanced one, which is really good. So I think I'm just going to plop it at the spot where we'll have uh, everything else, where everything chills. So if we really need to smell something, we'll just throw it in there. If not, we can just leave it on the uh, bigger forge. Right. Oh, come on, dude. Every time I back you up to access the forge and you're fucking me, dude. Stop moving. There we go. So we should basically just be able to take all this and flop it all in here. Um, and we got some water that we need to set up as well. Uh, we can put all this in here. We don't need to put those weights in here. All right. Put all this stuff away. Sweet. Put this back on the hot bar. Man, what else we got in here? All the heavy shit. <laughs> Alright, and I'm going to organize this real quick. Um, by weight. There we go. Nice. And then, um... See how the Quetzal is doing. Ooh, yeah. So the one thing about this thing is you zoom around because your weight is negative. But that's how it works, I guess. Um, so yeah, he has a lot of weight now. If I were to take all these off... Oh, it's still technically on me, so... How many do I have here? 65, so I'll use a... I think they have a 5k one. I think I threw one out somewhere over there, but I'm not sure where it went. Um, so we'll make one of those. I think it's just fiber. Yep, here we go. I'll grab that. I'm going to come down here because I want to see... See how his weight is without me on him. 8k okay so we will make one of those 5k this is the only thing that kind of sucks i'm gonna have to basically manage his weight because i can't just put a bunch of big ones on there or it's not going to work um yeah we'll give him there we go so he has 92 uh what is this that's 3500 okay and then we'll check the rest of these we don't need those, we'll just keep making them whenever we need them. And he should still be able to fly. Yep. Sweet. Alright, that works good. We'll land here. Uh, we can pick up our Inklio. Here, have a couple berries before you go, bud. There we go. And we will uh, we'll actually put him in the pod. We need a better name for these things. Worth. Put him in storage, I guess. That's what it's called. Uh, uh, at least fiber, I'll put the fiber in here. Alright. I wish I could get this dino to stop swaying so much. Especially when I'm trying to build it, it's such a pain in the ass. Alright, we also put one over here, which I would like to clear this out. And put all of these skins in here. So originally, I was just gonna swap my... My, uh, what was it? The hat that I had for the glasses, but with the flak armor, for some reason, it's like glitched out. And it looked really funny, so I just ended up hiding it with the emote menu we'll pick up the bed 
And we'll place this down. I think I might place it like this. Or should I place it like that? Now, a good way to do this is if you get third person and then you can go into the um, I don't know, the extended view mode and then you can level, you can even it out a little bit better. The K mode and then you kind of make it a little bit more even. Especially if you have OCD, that's a little bit crooked, but I think that'll look fine. Right, and we got a little chest here with all the skins. Um, I think I'm going to put one of the, the portal, the teleporter thing over here. Hopefully that one goes down. Okay, it looks like it will. Okay, oh, it's a little bit glitchy on these triangles, but we, um, maybe we'll put it somewhere else. Oh, you know what? If we teleport to here, it might, it'll teleport the, the guy too. I haven't tried teleporting, um, maybe I should make a backup and try it. See what happens if I teleport with uh, the Quetzal, if all the stuff's going to come with him or not. That's a good idea. I'll have to try that later. Right, we'll clean some of this stuff up, and we can put this stuff back in here. All right, and we're going to get some of this water. So we got another mod. This is the Water Cistern. Basically, just adds a little pump. They have, a, I think, a stone one, a metal one, and a tech one. They look pretty cool. I think the tech one looks cool. Um, I think it's just called water. Yeah, here we go. It's kind of just like a, a little well, and they get a metal one and a tech one, which is pretty cool. And we can connect stuff to it. We need to make a, uh, a T piece. Make one of these. Let's see. Structures and pipes. Alright, we'll grab one of those. Um, I think that should, one should be good. Alright, and then we can put that into the S bench. And we'll convert that. Alright, now we can build this thing. All right, boys, we got everything set up, and fortunately, we can teleport with this guy. Everything works. I made a backup and didn't even have to make it, so that's good. Um, we still got all of our items. We got all of our structures, all of our dinos. Um, we moved this over here so we can put the teleporter right in the middle. I thought that was a nice spot. Ooh, excuse me. And um, we forgot we had the passive poop thing on this thing, so we have all this fertilizer, but there was like 300... Um, poops everywhere, so we had to throw them all out. I thought my game was going to blow up. Um, but yeah, we can teleport back to um, back to home. And then we can finish getting everything ready. Alright, we're here. Oh, we're having issues with the weight. Um... Let's see. Oh, we're minus a bunch. Why is that? It's weird. We'll just chuck these two out. And there we go. Um, there must have been something on it that uh, gave it issues. And we got the uh, crop set up as well. It should start working. I read on the thing that sometimes it takes a couple minutes. Um, but what we did is... Oh, he's pooping. Um, we set this up right here and then we ran pipes underneath. One here and one here, I think it looks okay. Um, so, my water filled up, but it, it's not doing the crops yet, so I'm thinking maybe it's not attached correctly. So we can um, try to retach it real quick. So I don't know which, she keeps putting it that way. There we go, put it that way, see if that will um, change at all. Someone said it takes up to like five minutes, so we'll put that there, leave that there. Um, get some of this stuff picked up. Uh, we'll take that. And we'll pick this up. And we're going to need this bin as well. And we'll pick this up. I don't think we'll really need this bin because um, we have the dung beetle in there. So I'll probably just put this in storage and I think it might take a wooden chest or something. Put all this in. Uh, where is the bin? I put the bin in there. Um, how much weight does this guy have? I'm not quite sure. Because I might just put it in here. 
That's 100. Okay, the ones that I have are a lot bigger. I'm gonna demolish these because I really don't really want all this. Uh... Hey, look, it gave me my paste back, the one I used to make it. Um, and I think we have one more metal one. Oh, I put it over by the bed. So we'll make um make one more metal container. I think it's actually in here. Oops. Yep, here we go. Um. So these ones, how much do these ones hold? 200. And I, the other ones are 300. But I think those other ones are nice. So we'll just make um. One more of these. There's some little bit of metal and some polymer. We got plenty of that. Uh, there we go, and just enough polymer actually. Everybody right, now we gotta find it. Uh, here it is. This stuff in here. Um, this is all resources that can go in there. All right. Um, so where do we want to put this? Maybe somewhere over here. It looks good. And uh, we'll put all the uh, fertilizer in there. Put this stuff up here, and then I can just hold T, and it will quick transfer everything. It lags a little bit when you do this really quickly. There we go. All right, and we need um, some refrigerators, but we don't quite have everything for the refrigerators yet. So I will just take this preserving bin. Okay, the only thing that sucks is it's pretty heavy, okay. And what about this? Um, this has some water in it. Probably take this trow. Um, there's a refrigerated version too I want to make eventually. Um, so I think I might put some of that over in this side here. The preserving bin there. Alright, let's go make that real quick. I think it's yep, in here. Uh, fiber stone, okay. Wind thatch. I'll make two of them for now. I only had to make one because I got the other one I'll take when I'm done, but that's alright. So we can sort this out a little bit. Uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? Should I put two of them like that? The only thing that sucks about building these triangles sometimes it's a little bit of a challenge. Um, or we could just put two right there. Okay, let's see. Let's this out a little bit, and then we can wait until it's lined up. Oh man. Now, looks pretty good. Oh, and that stacks right next to it. Awesome. So we got those two there, and then we could probably put something right there as well. All right, we'll go grab uh, some of this stuff. What I'm gonna do is turn this guy around, put him right there. All right. Let's see if I can jump over. And um, you know what? We'll have that. I think I threw it out already, but we can make it with just some fiber. We'll just make one of those 5,000 things, and I can pick it all up at once. Uh, this one. There we go. Yeah, you absolutely zoom with that. So we can just pick all this up. There we go. Then we can put this away. So we'll put, um, let's see, we'll put all this egg stuff in here, I guess. Actually, no, we'll put all the meat in here. Um, yeah, these, these eggs. Should I put those eggs in there? Should I put, no, nah, yeah, I'll put those in there. Put all these eggs in there. Um, and put all the other stuff in the other one. We made a bunch of these, too. Um, for resetting dinos skills. Put this in there. Throw all this meat in there. Okay, and put everything else in here. this dino eat oh yeah that and all this kibble too okay kibble um this biotoxin stuff 
Alright, looks good. We'll put um, that in there. And um, I'll put the stim berries in this one. Alright, looks pretty good. Typical bee meats and um, rename, okay. Meats, eggs. No, uh, it doesn't show up or anything. That's fine. And this will be the other stuff. So kibbles and uh, shrooms. <laughs> All right. So those are both going. Do a little toot. Oh, look at that. They're working, boys. All right. So I just didn't have it correctly on. That's awesome. All right. Can I drink from here? Oh, awesome. So hype. Oh, it's irrigated, irrigated. Nice. We'll stick some fertilizer in there. And then we got some seeds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, I don't know how many you could put in there. Oh, there we go. Let's put it right in there. I want to see how many. I can probably put a bunch. Fertilizer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fertilize these bad boys. One I got. Oh, I had just enough. Look at that. All right. Um. Now I have seeds somewhere. Oh, they're on my tech guy over here. All right. Uh, what do we got? Some narcos. Stem. Let's grab the roots. The rocker root. Saver root. What's this? Stem. Long grass. And this one. So that's five. Which one's this? Looks like Azul Mejos. So I think there's one more that we're missing. But we could always add that later. So we get these guys planted up. Uh, just pop this in here, right? Yep. Okay. Um, we could always also do two um, Narca Berries. That might be a good idea. Yo. And there we go. All right, nice. All right, how's this guy doing? Barely moving. All right. Oh, it's because I got this. There we go. Oh, he's still gonna need some. All right. Um, so that's twenty five hundred. I wonder how much. I wonder if um. Yeah. Yeah. So I could probably do about. That'd be about 300, so yeah, we'll have to make some more 500s. Um, one, two. Okay, three more of those. There we go. Right, and once you put the rest of the dinos on here, I think it will probably start going back up, so we might just do another 10k or something. I want to get the... Uh, these guys are over here, up here. Uh, we can pick up Randy. I want to get the uh, stego on there. What's this trick doing over here? Uh, feeding trout and the fire. I think we got pretty much everything. This is um, nothing really in here. I don't know if I'm going to keep this or, or get rid of it. Um, it's a spoiled bin. We'll pick this up. This is um, all done. We'll pick, just demolish this actually. Don't need that any longer. Eventually, I want to put some plant species X down here. I'll probably put the spoiling bin right over here. Yeah, there we go. Look at that nice little spot. Fits good. All right, and um, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna just put some of this stuff away, and let's see what about this pedestal. I'd like to put them over here, that'd be pretty cool. There's a bunch of them. Yeah, I'll put them over here or something for now. Yeah, there we go. Alright, not too bad. We got everything pretty much set up. How are these looking? Um. I don't know if they have. Okay, they're seeding. So I now have the uh, timers up up pretty high. So we can get pretty much everybody else on here and we'll uh, move everybody over. And we'll get ready for some more trophy hunting tomorrow. 
we'll uh, get some uh, gear ready. Um, make some more shotgun ammo, definitely. And I think I'll probably take Randy with me, or maybe maybe someone smaller. Maybe a raptor or saber tooth or something. Should be able to be good. And I'll, I'll see what we need to get to get some of these uh, plant species ready to go. But uh, a lot of catch up to do on this episode, especially after um, the last video got corrupted. So uh, get everything all ready to go. And we will catch you guys tomorrow. And we can go on some adventures. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow.